Uh, Greg Post, President, Sensgard. There he is. Thank you, Tom. <clears throat> Good morning. My name is Greg Post. I'm President and uh, co founder of SenseGuard LLC. We manufacture a revolutionary new form of hearing protection. SenseGuard was formed in 2004 to commercialize a technology that was developed and patented at Syracuse University. Our management team consists of myself and Rob DiNardo as co founders. Uh, Dick Mulcahy is our advisor. And really, our most important member of our team is Dr. Zoslaki. He developed the technology. Uh, he's had a profound impact in the field of auditory science during his 50 plus year career. Um, he studied uh, sound attenuation, the ear anatomy for basically his whole career. And it's his determination that this technology is, is a, a, a technology that's basically eliminate the uh, other products in this product category. Our current products utilize the Zoslaki ear muffler patent, and we worked with Dr. Zoslaki and with Syracuse University to submit two additional patents. One is for a product that combines hearing protection and safety glasses into one device, and another is for a headset model that allows you to hear clear speech, communication, or music in a loud environment. The technology is unique in that rather than trying to block sound like a muff or a plug, sound is actually channeled away from the ear. The foam cuff seats at the outer ear canal and the chamber then acts as an extension of the ear canal. The volume of air in your ear is small relative to the volume that's in that chamber. So sound energy is gonna to wanna to travel a path of least resistance. Rather than trying to fight its way into the ear, sound is actually pulled or, or vacuumed up into that chamber. There's acoustic foam that dampens the sound wave, and then the wave refracts off of the top wall, canceling out the incoming waves. So it's similar to noise cancellation, but there's no batteries or electronics. It's all done through sound physics. The chamber is actually tuned to achieve a very flat, even attenuation or reduction of sound across all frequencies. That's important because there's no distortion of the sound. It doesn't eliminate any sounds. It allows you to hear all the sounds just at a safe level. And what's important with that is low frequency sounds are the sounds that mask speech frequencies. So if you can do a better job, which this technology does, at reducing low frequency sounds, the speech frequencies will come through better. That's important for someone, for example, working near a loud machine. They can have a conversation with a coworker, a supervisor, they can hear a warning signal, they can even hear the pitch of the machine they're operating without having to remove their hearing protection, which obviously would defeat the purpose. Our customers tell us that they like our product. It's very easy to put on and to use. It's lightweight and comfortable, especially in a hot and humid environment. It's convenient. It uh, folds to fit in a shirt pocket. You can just drop it around your neck when not in use. And many of our uh, commercial customers that have bought uh, like it for their employees because it's economical. We've shown some companies savings of up to 70% off their hearing protection expenditures. Um, the first market that really uh, showed interest in our product was what we call the consumer retail market, and that would be people that do target shooting, hunting, uh, woodworkers, uh, people that use power equipment around the home, mowers, leaf blowers, chainsaws. Um, but by far our biggest markets will be the industrial market, which encompasses manufacturing, construction, utilities, uh, transportation, mining and then the military. And worldwide, the hearing protection market is about a $700 million market. There's three products currently available for hearing protection, earplugs, earmuffs, and ear bands. They were introduced, ear bands were introduced about 10 or 15 years ago, and they've captured a 6% market share despite being the poorest performer of any hearing protection out there. Our market has really three large international safety product manufacturers that really dominate the market. Uh, the other 20% are small companies such as ourselves, but the top three are very active in acquiring technologies and companies in that, in that uh, minority. To date, we've generated over 1.2 million in revenue. Um, we, uh, most, a lot of that revenue actually comes as repeat business from our top customers, uh, customers that have been with us for two, three, even four years. 
We were net income positive in 2009 and will be net income positive this, this year as well. We have a pretty simple pricing model. Our second model, the uh, SG31 model, has a retail price of $39.99. Our distributor price is $12.19, which generates a 55% gross margin for us. But at that distributor price, that allows for uh, several layers of distribution getting back up to the retail price. Our objective is to grow the company to 20 million in revenue within five years. And we'll do that by increasing our sales and distribution network into all the markets that we can serve and by introducing new products related to the new uh, patents and new products off the current patent. To do that, we're looking to raise 500,000 in equity. 50% uh, again will be used to further develop our sales channels and, and marketing and 50% will be used for uh, products that we already have in prototype stage but need to bring to market related to the new patents and then also new designs and forms for our current patent. We believe within five to seven years, one of the large uh, manufacturers or distributors will be interested in acquiring our technology. Um, the uh, current Pricing or acquisitions that are occurring in this market now are generally around two to three X revenue. So we believe we can uh, generate a targeted return of nine to 14 X. I know probably some of you are going to be around loud noise sometime this weekend. So if you are, I have some hearing protection products for sale in the back of the room. I'd love to have you come back. And, uh, and if not, just come back and have, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by and, and chat. Thank you.